The Cowboys are 3-2, and two, oh. taking on the Jets. The Jets are 0-4, but they get Sam Darnold back. Vegas still has this game as a 7-point uh, line. Cowboys favored, 44.5 point over under. How much hope can we really have in the first game back for Sam Darnold in this matchup? Cowboys defense has been exceptional against opposing quarterbacks and wide receivers. I know Adam Gase has gotten to be thrilled that he has a, a, a shot to win the game. I mean, that's the honest truth. He hasn't had a shot. Right, yeah. They, they've they been rolling out a third-string guy where there's nothing you can scheme up or do. It's kind of like having Devlin Hodges. Like, you, you're right. just... You've got to you've got to be able to run the ball uh, or have just an unbelievably great matchup. So I think that Donald looks rusty, comes out in a tough matchup and struggles for his first game back. But it's nice to have him on the other side. I think Lev Bell is the key for the Jets here. Uh, the Cowboys 26th against the running back, giving up 24.8 fantasy points per week, and it's pretty much just the Lev Bell show at running back. So this is one of those games I think Lev Bell is great. We, you know, He's the guy I've been saying go trade for. He passes by. Um, he gets Darnold back. I, I think I expect big things. So are you playing then, like, say, Robbie Anderson? We've Fantasy players have had to wait all year long to have any hope of playing Robbie Anderson. Are you willing to do it in Darnold's first game back with this matchup? Uh, I was going to ask, would you play Sanu over those two guys? I over Dar Robbie Anderson or J J Jamison Crowder. Would you play Sanu over both of them? One hundred percent. I would play Sanu over them. I would play Ridley over them. Anyone in that game? Crowder maybe in a PPR. I mean, the, the targets could return. I'm just nervous. I'm nervous in game one for Darnold getting yeah. back out there. The matchup is, it could be better, and I uh, won't have Chris Herndon. Herndon's going to be out, and uh, it's nice to think that Robbie Anderson might eventually get there right now. He's it's, the wide it's receiver gonna 84 happen. on the year. It's going to happen. Look, the, the schedule's going to open up for the Jets. And Sam Darnold and his his spleen has returned to regular spleen size. Which that's, is, that's always a good thing. Yeah, you, well, yeah, you don't want a large spleen. It's not cool. Uh, Dak it's, Prescott it's not on the road. Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup. You starting both of those guys? Heck yeah. What, what See, is Gallup? I will Kool-Aid man them. Can I do that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Even Gallup, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's Macho Man. The Jets are 23rd mm, in the Sorry. NFL in terms of fantasy points against at the wide receiver position. Giving up 30.8 on the year. Michael Gallup, I want to see more of these weeks from him. He could have been a he could be a player that's leveled up. We just haven't had enough healthy games to know for sure. But in the three games he's played, he's got a 27% target share in that's, an offense that we believe in that's crazy high that's that's like and Randall Cobb I think he's gonna miss this game Brooks do you have a, a it's kind of irrelevant but now that I'm looking at you I want the answer I mean Randall <laughs> Cobb hasn't done anything for this team it's been a part of Gallup's target share has been what options do you have uh Cobb did not practice yesterday back injury yeah so Gallup and Cooper are the passing offense C Cobb has had six targets in each of the last two games and all of those, they wish they did not throw. Oh, come I mean, on. Isn't it strange to see a player just disintegrating I, from I, what they were? It was quick, man. Yeah, it, I don't was, think it's disintegrating. He, he is just, already vaporized. He, he went over a cliff a long time ago and lived on the laurels of, I feel like, one, maybe two big years. And yet at the same time, I believe if he showed up in Green Bay on Monday... With a Packer uniform on, he'd be the best receiver on the team. Oh, that's rude. Outside of Devontae. Because I mean, Adams is out? Because Adams okay. is out. Yeah. I, I just mean I feel like Aaron Rodgers needs a guy like him. He doesn't have somebody like him in the middle of the field. They need to find somebody and bring him in there in Green Bay if you want Rodgers to be able to. I feel like they already have Jimmy Graham. Ooh. <laughs> yes, Jason. <laughs> Throw a cheese. Jason. Oh, hey. Wasn't expecting you. Thanks for watching the video. You should check out the long form, the hour. Check it out. Subscribe to the Fantasy Footballers channel.